That is right, Brody. Now is the time to really start focusing on your teams for the Relay for Life 24-hour cancer walk. I want to introduce some familiar faces. Byron Pettigrew, also Hannah McNaughton. They are both the co-chairs for the promotions event when it comes to Relay for Life. Grand Travers County. I want to thank you both for joining us. Thanks so much for having us again, Melissa. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Huge event that we like to promote, obviously, and talk about. Uh, and we have until June, really, until the big event gets underway. But now is the time to really start focusing on those teams, the team captains, and what you need to do to get your team ready and up and running. There's also a big meeting tomorrow that's taking place. What will that meeting entail? Uh, the team captains meeting tomorrow. Um, it. It's just it's a meeting for teams to get together. Um, it, it's called a team captains meeting, sure. but really anybody who invol is involved on a team is welcome to attend. Okay. Anybody who uh, wants more information about becoming a team captain okay. or about the relay is also welcome to attend. And really, we just talk about our goals, um, up uh, upcoming fundraising activities, sure. leading up to the event. Um, and uh, it's an opportunity to turn in money that's already raised, sponsorship forms, that type of thing. And speaking of goals, there are some pretty big goals this year. Yes, there is. Taking a look uh, at the fundraising goal, $95,000. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So it's important to get the team, you know, your teams developed now. Right. So you can start raising those funds and help us reach that $95,000 goal. And plan for how you're going to do that. Right. Because you don't want to wait till the last minute because you, I mean, no. people think, oh, we have until June, but really you need to start planning this. Uh, June will be here before we know. Oh, it, it will be. <laughs> And you also have a goal of 60 teams this year? Yes. And okay. we currently have 25 registered. 25. So mm -hmm. almost halfway there. We're just about there. Right. right. So we definitely encourage people to come out tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. um, we can help you get signed up as a team if you need to do that. Uh, or you can visit the website. It's real easy to become registered as a team mm -hmm. captain and get signed up to, or even signed up to walk on a team that already exists. And for those people who are not familiar with Relay for Life, it is a 24-hour walk for cancer through the American Cancer Society. Right. And it's, I mean, we have these all over northern Michigan, and I will post the link for, for various Relay for Life cancer walks besides Grand Traverse County on our website, but the one uh, in Grand Traverse is at the Civic Center, Correct. June 8th and 9th. Yes. And we start 10 o'clock in the morning on the 8th, <laughs> and we go 24 hours, literally, people walking, taking part in events, all to raise right. money for cancer. It's a lot of fun. The 24 it hours is. is gone before you it, even know it. It is. It really is. And, and <laughs> for you two, why are you involved? I know you've done this year after year, but why is it important for, for you to be involved? For me, I think cancer affects everyone. Mm -hmm. And I've had multiple family members that have had cancer. And this is just a fun way to fight it and raise money and just, Make people aware of what we can do. Absolutely. That's right. All right. Well, I want to thank both of you, Byron, also Hannah. Wonderful having you guys on the show today. I will post all the information for tomorrow's meeting on our website so you can get your team ready if you want to take part. And also I'll post a link to all the other Relay for Life walks taking place across northern Michigan in your community. Thank you both so much. Thanks, thank you. Melissa. And taking a look at your bus stop forecast, you're from meteorologist Joe Charlevoix.